Tally Ho Internet. Just wanted to take a moment just to say that I've been editing this episode. And um, I did not remember at the time that this game touches very heavily on themes of depression, uh, mental health, suicide, self-harm. So please just be warned, um, as this, this game touches on that very heavily, and viewer discretion will be advised. <sighs> so, I, I, I ran afoul of a bug, and it turns out that this bug is that the game doesn't run properly if it doesn't detect that there's a gamepad <laughs> connected. Um, so that was fun. <sighs> you can see here, um, second drop is clear. And that's because I streamed it on my channel. Cater confirmed, but it's not working! You can see that it's... Uh, you can see that this episode is done. Because I streamed it on my channel. Except, I had the audio muted the entire time. And no one watched the stream. So no one told me it was muted. So I figured I'd make a video. A few days have passed since Yuri's introduction to shadow reading at the abandoned inn. Since then, Hisoka has gone off somewhere and hasn't returned. Yuri worries for Hisoka, but isn't sure how or where to start searching. As she sits waiting at the antique shop, a girl named for Yuhi Himeno shows up, claiming to have enlisted Hisoka to help her find a missing person. Do I have to go through all of this again? Can I not select a chapter? I can't even- I can't even skip this! I can't believe that there are unskippable cutscenes in this game. Oh god, shut up, please. God, please. Fuck, please. God, shut up, please. Please shut up, please. Please shut up. It's an infamous suicide spot, isn't it? My tea's too hot to drink. Yes, I know. I know. I know. God, I know. I know. I know. Nice little house. I, I I really like this this house. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna go straight to the note on the desk. I would like to apologize for for me talking directly into the microphone so much. I genuinely feel like I'm losing my mind. And we're off. Yes, I know. I don't care. I can't go left or right, it's not gonna let me. There's gonna be a lot of complaining in this episode. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm, I can just go through it as quickly as possible. There are like a load of items which don't really matter too much. In fact, I probably already have them. Yes. Yes, it's blocked off. She couldn't go that way, so she went this way. Oh, hey. Here's a, here's a feature which, if you guys have not seen this game before, might be a lot of fun. Oh. It, it came from a screen direction I wasn't anticipating. Every time you reach down, you might be grabbed by a ghost arm. This should be very useful. So this is the way to the pool of purification. Yep, keep going. An old stone monument has been set in a rocky hollow. It's covered in moss, so I can't really tell if there's any writing on it. It must be a memorial for those who lost their lives in the landslide. This is the thing, I, I really do genuinely enjoy this game. But like, damn, it, it frustrates me sometimes with how slow everything is, especially if you happen to just want to go back to play a level that you've already played. The wetness gauge to the lower right of the screen will light up when you come in contact with water. If you get drenched, you'll become an easy target for malevolent spirits. Use purifying embers to dry yourself off. Oh yeah, there's... Oh. I was gonna try and take a picture of that. <laughs> but I couldn't. Oh yeah, this ghost arm can happen at any point, I believe. Anytime you reach down. Uh, so, we have that to look forward to now. Yes, grass and trees jut out from amongst all of the rocks and stuff that must have collapsed a long time ago. 
Yeah, we don't have the camera obscura right now. Which, I mean, in a lot of ways, just kind of gives a sense of security, because if we can't defend ourselves, then it would be pretty unfair of the game to force ghosts on us. Apart from a stupid ghost arm thing, you got purifying embers times one. It's like it's preparing me to get very wet. <gasps> There's something in the water. What could it possibly be? <gasps> the camera obscura. What is it doing here? Old film. Type 17 film was that? You got the stun lens. Or was it type 42? You got the stun lens. A lens that forcibly staggers the photograph. Subject. Um, the good news for you guys is that I actually know how this use, uh, how this works now. Okay, let's get out of the water. Oh, are you behind me? Creepy. Oh. Oh, I missed my fatal frame opportunity. Oh, hello! Oh, to my right now? I, I, the spirit fragment bit is really creepy. Come at me, bro. Oh, I don't know what that said. I was trying to reach out and touch the ghost because there's this whole thing. Like, you can reach out and touch, like, I think it's called, like, a phantom touch or something. I, I, it was on the screen, literally just now. <laughs> oh. Let's look. I can't see to the bottom. Nobody could survive a drop from this height. Check this out though. <laughs> Creepy. But it's not photo op, apparently. Number 15. I do that too many. I do, I, I do that way too often. Number 15. Ghost woman. Tall fence blocks the path. So let's go the other way instead. And hope that we aren't accosted by some kind of ghost arm. Gonna get plenty of that film. Uh, where are this girl's parents? Oh, pick up. Oh, yeah, 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 she left a note. There's a torn note lying on the ground. It looks like for Yuhi Himenos. I looked into Mount Hakami. It's always been a spiritual place. Not spiritual as in holy, but spiritual as in filled with the spirits of the dead. Maybe that's why it's a suicide spot? Haruka wouldn't go to die alone, though. Not without telling me. The book said people get spirited away to the mountain. They get called towards it and disappear, alone. I read how it calls to people who are perceptive, anxious, meek, and who lack family. My heart skipped a beat when I read that. It was describing Haruka perfectly. She's so kind and accepting. She's always... She always opens up to me. She's alert, even when she seems to be spacing out. She knows what I'm thinking. Maybe she was spirited away. But where do people go when they're spirited away? The more I think about it, the scarier it gets, and the more my heart starts pounding. <sighs> where do they go indeed, if not heaven? You get the sense that this girl might be in love with this Haruka. Which would make things even more tragic. But she is totally in love with this girl though. For Yuhi Himeno heading inside. There was someone by the shrine on the other side of the river. Was it for Yuhi? I think it was. I mean, you even pronounced that picture as such. This way? Yes. 
There's like a load of winding paths and stuff. I'm going to try and avoid most of them. Because I do just want to get through this episode. I'm complaining. I know. Deal with it. I've played this already. I really wish I didn't have to do it again. I'm just going to grab what's ever in my immediate path. <gasps> Looking at a tree. There is a ghost that also appears up there as well. It might be when I pick up this note. Gotta keep an eye out for those ghost hands. There's a note lying among the dead leaves. It looks like for you, he him and knows. I don't know what to do now that Haruka's gone missing. I can't do anything on my own. It's like I can't breathe. We've been close since we were children. Now she's gone. I realize how important she is to me. How irreplaceable. I can't stop thinking I could have done something when she left that day. Maybe if I'd said something, I could have stopped her from going. The waiting is unbearable. I should have been the one to disappear. It should be me. If Haruka comes back, there's so much I want to tell her. I should tell her how I really feel before we end things together. Maybe she's already known for a long time, but I'll tell her anyway. I have to tell her. For you, he has been here. I can use this note to pick up a trace again. <gasps> Creepy how it's like she's... Like the rope is coming out in an angle like that. That's weird. Ah yes, hello ghosts. We're doing this again, are we? Ooh. Is that it? She's dumb? Away. I'm melting away? How dramatic. <laughs> Uh, I sure hope I'm not ruining the atmosphere for anyone, but... Man. Swept away maiden. I really wish there was a zoom function. But there's not. Oh hey, we're, we're coming up towards a, a pretty freaky place. Hope you guys don't have a fear of dolls. Though something happened and I'm interested to see if it happens again. Countless dolls are lined up around the shrine. Maybe this shrine used dolls in its ceremonies. They look like they've been out here for quite some time, exposed to the elements. Yeah. I mean, dolls kind of freak me out a little bit, but these are like so low quality that it doesn't bother me too much. But there's one over here which has got an unusually bright face. And I just want to see. No. I find that very interesting. So I got attacked by a ghost last time I was there. That's what happened. <gasps> For Yuhi Himeno examining a door. Oh, another complaint that I made during that live stream that no one could hear. Um, is that whenever it prompts you to take a picture like that, you have to specifically uh, pull the camera out and then manually aim up. And sometimes the, you, it, it only gives you a second or so to do that. So you can't frame the shots very well. Maybe that's the point. You know, the, the whole idea of... Like, the, the pictures of the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot and all that kind of stuff would, you know, they, they kind of, they're lent credence because they're, like, quick point and shoot pictures that people didn't have a lot of time to pre-plan, which kind of adds to their mystique. The door is shut. It doesn't look like for you he went into the shrine. Oh, but there is a note down here. You're not going to let me pick it up? There's a page from a notebook on the ground. It looks like for you, he's handwriting. Haruka and I have been close since kindergarten. We sang a song together at graduation. It was called The Song of Memories. Haruka and I looked at each other when we sang together. I'll never forget that. I think about those times a lot lately. They were the best. 
if I even hum that tune, I start to tear up. Look, another one that it doesn't... I mean, that one is, I guess, you know, not supposed to be able to take a picture... ...by design? Anyway, I guess Haruka didn't go this way. Girl watching from behind. See, this is what I was talking about. I didn't get the opportunity to take pictures of these three last time because I didn't raise the camera up high enough. So I didn't get the girl and the, the boy in the back. Um. Yeah, so I think we just follow it this way. There's like a couple of bits and pieces here. I'll go ahead and grab those. I think we get attacked on the shoreline. Not to give all of this away. I mean, it's an interesting enough game without... You know. It's... it's fun. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, he's, he's coming up quick. Oh, boy. Go on, attack me. I dare you. Nah, you lost your chance, you loser. Could I go into the water? <laughs> this is so funny. Uh-oh. Damn. That was unfortunate. I'm not gonna have time to touch that one. Alright, come on. Attack me. Come on. There we go. I'm kinda tempted to maybe play SCP or something. Don't know if I should make it the original game or the, the Unity version. Hopefully someone would watch that. I do really enjoy the universe. I've been watching a ton of um, SCP orientation. I think it's a uh, someone who started an SCP channel um, way back at ah you cheeky bugger. <laughs> yeah, uh, SCP orientation, really good channel. Uh, someone who I think started the channel basically just kind of like at the very beginning of the year, um, probably is something to do over um, lockdown. And has now crafted like four or five hundred very high quality videos since the beginning of the year, going through every single SCP from from the very first up to, I think they're on the the four hundreds or five hundreds at the moment. Bloody amazing! Where am I going? I I wasn't meant to come this way, I guess. But I don't know if I picked this up last time. Nope. So they can get you when you grab for notes. A faded note found amidst the underbrush. I did not find this last time. This place will do. No one will find me here. This will be a place just for me. I can melt away. Bit by bit. I'll be like water. Seeping into the ground. I won't be myself anymore. I'll be one with nature. Was I dreaming just now? A woman dressed in white was looking down at me. She looked like one of those shrine maidens I've heard about. I didn't have the strength to move, but she kept on watching me. She seemed harmless. I came here because I don't like people looking at me. They're always looking down on me. But being watched in my final moments felt strangely relieving. I'm glad I came here. Well, the stories about the mountain, uh, don't sound, uh, like fabrications. Hmm. Show me the direction. This way? Sure, I'll go this way. Where now? 
So I really did go all over the place when I was streaming this. Like, I, I checked every nook and cranny. I just don't have the patience for that today. <laughs> Although, let's pick this up, though. It's, like, right in that way. You got purifying embers times one. I've got an itchy nose. Oh, I missed it! See how quickly they happen? There's a slip of paper on the ground. It looks like something's written on it. I like it here. I can die alone here. There's no one to stop me. I can take things slowly. A peaceful, dignified death. Life is nothing but misery and suffering. I'm sick of it. It's getting real heavy with the themes here. Got for Yuhi in the distance. But before I do that, there's a noise. And I just want to... I guess just have another look. I bet you just realise it's flashing. I guess it just must be because I'm looking at something. Yeah, um, there's this just this nailing noise here. But nothing, apparently, causing the, the noise. Straw dolls have been nailed to the thick tree. I don't know if it's important or relevant or anything. But, hey, it's something. Uh, right, for you here, where are you? I'm so upset that I missed that girl falling, but oh well. It's fine. I got the picture last time when I played the the chapter before. During that stream that no one could hear. For you here. Then we got a little cutscene. For you here. Haruka. She's here on the mountain. So are you, and you shouldn't be. No, but she's here. I, I have to find her. I can't stand this girl. <gasps> oh, her memories. So do I. Why did the two of us survive? We made a promise that we'd all die together. What is with this voice acting? We made a promise that we'd all die together. Why? What the hell are five school kids doing trying to kill themselves together? Yes, I agree. Hey, I'll go and look for Haruka. Let's go back. This child is messed up. That's my professional opinion. It's not a medically professional opinion. It's a video game playing opinion. Oh, I can collect this. I didn't even try last time. Sunken note. A note. A tattered note is floating at the edge of the marsh. It looks recent. Watching the sunset makes me want to cry. I have no home to go back to. Nobody would be there if I went back. Everyone would be there, yet no one would. I know that now. That's why I came to the mountain. My grandma used to tell me never to go to the mountain at sunset. But my feet led me here. I chased the sun, and it kept getting bigger. I couldn't stop. I felt the need to write something. 
as I'm scribbling this down. I had to go into the water. I had to write this first. I had to write something. What else should I write? She's calling to me. I have to go. Before the sun sets. It's a shame. It's a shame. I know that that's like a very typical thing to say, but, you know. It's very seldom the only option that people have. I'm not saying that it's... I'm not saying that it isn't a valid option, but... It's a tough topic to talk about. I've been there before. I've been in these mindsets. And I'm pretty glad that I came through them. At the time, I felt like I wouldn't be able to. But I did. And I have a wonderful fiancé. My family cares about me. You know, I have reasonable prospects. I enjoy what I do. Mostly. Not all the time. But mostly. There were times where it really felt like things couldn't possibly get any worse. But things always have a way of... Haruka didn't go this way. We're not specifically trying to follow Haruka. <sighs> yeah. Um, I've been through some stuff, is what I'm trying to say. And it gets better. So if anyone who watches this is like relating to any of these notes in any kind of way... Please, you know, reach out to someone, friends, family, professionals. Just speak. Openly. Completely openly. Be as boldly true as you need to be to get your point across. Because people will listen. As much as you think they won't, people are there to listen. This way. There's something over here. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, I think I can reach out now. There we go. Whoa, she scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Just pick up this film. Hopefully there's no hand, because I wouldn't have been able to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I have to deal with these chuckle fucks. And this one was... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Wow, how, how stressful. Yeah, I'm trying to remember... Oh, look at that. <laughs> eh? Sure, whatever. Man, still so weird that I was attacked there before and now there's nothing. Uh, for you, he, please stop Yuhi. this. Right, let's go. She's here. Yeah, but not right now. We got other stuff to worry about. Come on, darling. We have other stuff. Let's go. There's like this black box that keeps showing up. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> Cutscene! Hisoka, what happened? Where have you gone? Are you okay, darling? Looks like you're in a bit of a sticky situation. Man, I really need to play, um... Siren Blood Curse and... Creepy. Ooh. Man, that's oddly intimate. Like Siren Blood Curse and uh, what Clock Tower as well? Is that is that one? Mm-hmm. Yep. Things went things went pretty bad for her. Where are you? 
This is the first time that Yuri has ever looked concerned. First time in cinema history. Must have been carried here by the river just like the camera obscura. I got the evade upgrade. This allows you to detect threats capable of being dodged. Also this poor voice act actress. Oh yeah, we want you to sing, but just like, sound like you're hating every second of it. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, I can do that. <gasps> Show me what you have there. A knife! No! Who gave the girl a knife? Who gave the suicidal girl a knife? Ooh! Grim. I can't believe she actually went and did it. I feel like I should put a trigger warning at the beginning of the episode. I think I'm going to do that. Because this covers on some really grim topics. Oh man, those are some dead looking eyes. Right, come on. Oh! Oh wow! Shit. Woo! I didn't struggle this much last time during the stream that no one could hear. Just feel like it's really important that I make that very obviously known. I used the stun shot there. Damn it. Oh, did that work? Nope, not happening. Not allowed to do that. There we go. Man, that took way too long. Now I have to touch the defeated ghost. Seriously though, who left a Tanto around for a child to pick up? This is like phasmophobia levels of haunting. Oh wow, she's actually cutting herself trying to stop that from happening. I didn't notice that last time. Man, that is, that is sad. That's, that's real tragic. I didn't exactly like the goal, but god damn. No, oh, it's the Maiden of Blackwater. Quite a long episode. Uh oh. There she is. You seem to you cannot leave the mountain. Now you die. Seen too You've seen too much. Now die. Tainted. Ghost attacks may leave you tainted by the black water. If this happens, your health will continuously decrease. Use purifying embers or defeat all present ghosts to remove it. Sure. Okay, let's tango, woman. Oh, dude. No, one more time. I can I can do it this time. Come on. Come on. Let's fatal flame this shit. Do you just want me to stand still? I can do that. God, she's so quick! Oh, 
Don't like this. Getting a little too close for comfort. Yeah, I got her. Oh, yeah. Loser. Bad shrine maiden. She's the one that brought for you he here. The one who made her. It's too dangerous. I can't stay here. I'll have to go back for now. I'm hoping... I can't remember if I have to fight anything else here. Or if I can just run past. Can't remember. This game is one that I would very, very easily call like a, like a flawed gemstone. Their bodies look way too big for that shot, for that scene. The proportions look so off. Creepy. Very creepy. But yeah, um... This game is, is definitely what I would call a flawed masterpiece, in that it's just... It's so fun. It's, it's, it's like it's... It's good, but... God, there are some... There are some things that really hold it back from reaching its full potential. Uh, while searching for her friend, Fuyuhi Himano ended up taking her own life. Having witnessed Fuyuhi's final moments, Yuri knows she wasn't alone when she died. What of that other woman, who killed herself in the same way? Not to mention the mysterious shrine maiden, sodden from the rain. Yuri managed to locate Hisoka's camera obscura, along with a charm she always liked to wear. For now, she must return to the antique shop alone. 34 minutes, still only got a rank A. It's fine, I accept it. Cool. So that's what you guys missed, what didn't work out uh, when I was streaming this at the time. So, hope that you enjoyed this episode of Project Zero slash Fatal Frame. Glad that I went through it again, actually. Um, I just wanted to get this out of the way. Don't like leaving things unfinished, and it felt unfinished. So, please let me know if you liked this episode. Comment down below. Please reach out if you feel like you need to speak to anyone. My name has been VXE, and until next we meet.